Section six of Stories and Pictures. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. Stories and Pictures by I. L. Peretz. Translated by Helena Frank. Section six the seventh candle of blessing the thirteen-year-old brow is puckered with anguish the child face pale with dread tear after tear falls from the innocent eyes only last friday just a week ago she was so happy so full of glee it was the short friday grandmother had woke her a little earlier than usual she had spent the day in preparation for the sabbath in the late afternoon she had washed herself plaited her long hair singing and dancing the while dressed and gone with grandmother to the synagogue and they had lighted each her candles bashi's first candle god bless grandmother her second god bless tatish and let him find lots of work and make heaps of money and not sigh any more and say that the times are bad her third god bless mamish and make her strong and then for the little sisters and the little brothers a candle each it lasted till people began to come in for the prayers how she loves the synagogue how she loves candle blessing she has lived with grandmother two whole years she does not want to go home there is no candle blessing there it is not the custom unless it were just to see her mother to clasp her father once round the neck and play a while with his black silky beard and to have a game with the little ones grandmother must not be left alone she is always so good to her she has taught her to bless the candles bashi loves grandmother and blessing the candles too she longs for it the whole week through she counts the days but this is a miserable friday in the morning everything was the same as usual she had made sabbath grandmother had sat there and watched her happily they had dressed themselves and grandmother had taken her stick then as ill luck would have it there came the postman grandmother read the letter threw herself on the bed and there she had lain for two hours with her face to the wall she is black as coal her eyes are shut one hand holds the letter she foams at the mouth no one is to come near her no one is to be sent for bashi is pushed away and whenever she tries to open the door grandmother hears and screams no bashi stands by the bed and cannot make it out her heart beats wildly god only knows what they have written from home perhaps perhaps she cannot think what has happened she drops on to her knees and clutches convulsively at grandmother's hand granny granny what is it speak to me tell me what is it granny i think i shall die of fright she spoke involuntarily grandmother has turned toward her she moves her lips opens her eyes gives her one look and die she says in a hard voice and turns her face once more to the wall and there wasn't his like she adds die bashi die bashi is silent a blackness passes before her eyes and her head falls on grandmother's feet within her all is dark and cold she has ceased to puzzle herself 
she is nearly unconscious and in this way another half hour goes by she hears her grandmother's voice get up bashy obeys grandmother has risen to her feet and taken up the stick which she previously had flung away how many candles have you she asks why eight is the trembling reply leave one out bashy does not move put one away screams grandmother angrily bashy trembles like a leaf but does not move the old woman has gone to the table herself undone the packet of candles taken one out and tied the rest together again she pushes them into bashy's hands come along bashy follows her automatically neither has thought to fasten the door behind her bashy does not know herself how she reached the platform with her candles light them one at a time for whom i shall tell you repeat my words say god bless mamish and grant her long life bashy shakes as with og the first candle has always been father's repeat screams grandmother bashy does so the second god make camel a good jew little bashy shakes more and more her limbs are giving way beneath her she does not hear her father's name her heart thumps her temples throb her eyes burn grandmother has no pity on her she screams louder every time repeat repeat what i say bashy is lighting the last candle say god bless sarah commands grandmother no she will not say that where is father no she cannot say it her whole being is in revolt against her wicked grandmother no 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 repeat repeat screams grandmother with increasing violence bashy refuses to obey the last light must be father's she begins god bless fa hush in a terrible voice hush hush your father is no longer a jew he has become an official end of section six